Hi, I'm Linda Perez, Clinical Trials Coordinator in the Research Department at Space Coast Cancer Center. Hello, I'm Gia Randall. I'm a Clinical Trials Research Nurse here at Space Coast Cancer Center. And we'd like to tell you a little bit about participating in a clinical trial. Choosing to participate in a clinical trial can be a complex decision. Before you agree to participate in the clinical trial, you will be provided with the facts about the trial. The same ethical and legal rules that govern medical practice apply to clinical trials. In addition, most clinical research is federally regulated with safeguards to protect participants. Clinical trials must follow a scientific action plan called a protocol. The protocol explains what will be done in the study and why. It outlines the reason for conducting the study, who may participate in the study, the number of patients needed, the schedule of tests, procedures, or drugs and their dosages, the length of the study, and what information will be gathered about the participants. The organization that sponsors the study, such as the medical center where the work will be done, must approve the protocol. In addition, an institutional review board must review the protocol to be sure that participants are treated humanely and ethically and to evaluate whether the likely benefit of the treatment is worth the risk. The review board also checks to see if any of the researchers have any conflict of interest. A clinical trial may also have a data safety monitoring board, overseeing it to monitor the safety of the study participants. This safety board can stop a study at any time if it seems that the treatment isn't working or it is causing too many side effects. A trial can also be halted by the board if the treatment is proving to be better than the standard treatment and therefore should be made available to people outside of the clinical trial. If you are interested in participating in a clinical trial, you will be asked to sign an informed consent form. Informed consent is the process of learning the facts about a clinical trial before deciding whether or not to enroll. You will learn about the purpose of the trial, what will happen during the trial, including planned tests, known risks and benefits of the experimental treatment, how long you will be expected to participate in the clinical trial, other treatments that might be helpful to you instead of the treatment being tested, and whom to contact with any questions. You must sign an informed consent to take part in a clinical trial, but this isn't a contract. Participation in a clinical trial is voluntary and you may change your mind or discontinue at any time. And if at any time your doctor thinks the trial is not in your best interest, he may withdraw you from the trial. Clinical trials are an important part of the care available at Space Coast Cancer Center. Currently at our center, we have trials that test new cancer treatments, new ways to reduce side effects, and improve the comfort and quality of life of people with cancer. Our patients may participate in studies sponsored by pharmaceutical companies, the National Cancer Institute, and other medical cancer cooperative groups. Your doctor might recommend a clinical trial to you or you might find out about a clinical trial on your own. A good place to start is the National Library of Medicine Clinical Trials website, clinicaltrials.gov. If you are interested in participating in a clinical trial, talk to your doctor. Your doctor can discuss with you the drug or therapy involved in the trial, the benefits and risks of the trial, and whether or not you might be eligible to participate.